Hey there guys, come here, welcome to Language of Three Pointos. On the second part of the video, we will be going to play the demo playthrough of Tasia. And well, before we continue, um, on my previous video, I forgot to showcase the class that Tova will be having and also her Echo of Light skin. So, okay, I'm gonna show you guys here. Yeah, so, apparently, she has. A dragon cluster and look at a wow robo mechanic dragon that looks way much cooler than Ares and our other dragon rider that's kind of cool something new and there's a class Pegasus rider and wandering swordsman but most likely I will choose all the holy star Pegasus or holy saint Pegasus because for her movement speed if I ever get her, so next we will be looking at a deep sea diver. Oh, look at that sea true. No, I mean it's not sea true, but well, like SpongeBob say, use your imagination. Poke. Kenbu to sakusen. Sore wa sore. Kore wa kore. Okay, so now we'll be looking at Tasia. So, can I have a quick look? So, she came from Dungeons and Rank and uh, Reincarnation Faction and her talent. When battling against non-female hero in battle, increased intelligence by 30% and damage taken will be reduced by 30%. When actively dealing damage will cause target to have a lethargic counter and increase their chance of taking quick or chance of being crit to increase by 20%, it will last for 3 turns, can be stacked up to 2 layers, and when it's being stacked to 2 layers, when enemy end their turn, the lethargic counter will be changed into hypnosis. The enemy will not be able to move, and chance of being crit will be increased to 50%, last for a turn. Enemy who has the crit counter, oh sorry, hypnosis state will lose the effect after they have um, taken damage once, and this effect will occur every three turns. So now let's have a look at a class game, Mage with Incomplete, and the Demon Path, the Dream Recycler, and the Blood Dream Lord. So, Assassin and Demon class. And this has Soldier units. Okay, apparently she has. Oh, Lava Golem and Alchemist Mage. Or which we like to call it Glass Mage. Archer Assassin. Oh, she's fairly balanced for her soldiers. And her Awakening animation. And there's our tree seed. Okay, it's definitely weird and don't suit the animations because she's not. I mean, the voice is trying to be threatening and scolding, but the animation look very seductive. It's, uh, I can't decide whether they are trying to make her ass or him or... <laughs> okay, then look at how she moves. Okay, wow, sorry. Yep. <laughs> That's it, she's my new waifu. Yep. Okay. Oh, sorry. I, I got choked uh, after hearing that. Oh my god, that that voice. Let, let's hear it again. Hmm. I like to look at my body. You are interested in this face. Oh, 
、私が操作しているのよ。あんたにこの前の動かし方。教えてあげてもいいわよ。Okay, I am definitely so not going to translate what she says, so any guy who you're interested, please look it online. <laughs> And look at her character's figure stats. Oh, so. Wow. 91? I thought that's, that's bigger than my face. No, that's bigger. Even if I open or stretch my palm, oh my god, 91. <sighs> okay, let's have a look at her echo white skin. Tsuki Akari ni kakure, yume ni mangire, omoi o ubai, ningen no mini kusa wa abaku no, honto ni omoshiroi wa. Okay, I think I will. 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 人間の醜さを暴くの本当に面白いわ。Yep,、um, no doubt the echo light skin looks very nice and pretty, but the default skins, no doubt, has better motion physics. Yep. 一人画家を知ってるわ。あ。All right, so enough said. I know you guys are not here for this. Instead, we will be doing the actual demo play. So, okay, here we go. So, we will be given a bit of information about the prelude of、um, Persia. Apparently, initially, she d o not have an actual name. Instead, she has been called Majo, which is、uh, roughly translated as the witch. So, right now, I'm gonna skip with the narrations because、um, it's just roughly describing a past event that has occurred to do with war. That,、um, well, even no matter how much humans are going through the war, their trees will be covered by the snow or by nature. And this is the original person or soldier that once was named Persia. And no, don't worry,、um, Pasia is not. The Pasia that we'll be using is not a guy, and you guys will find out soon. So apparently, they experience、um, war and hardship, and they might be losing the war or battle. So, apparently, long story short,、um, he's resting at this tree where Pasia is actually resting. I'm sorry, I'm gonna use the witch. So, the This guy Pasia apparently、um, saw the witch hiding at the tree and he tried to confront her. So at the time, Pasia is maybe still considered still green as a demon or witch. So apparently,、um, she h a v e kind of eavesdropping.、Um, By accident, for on, about this past year, for over months of、um, the things that is going on for the, the war they're experiencing, and apparently, she is just trying to scare him by saying he's gonna, she will chop off his tongue, and yeah, and she believes your human year will be extremely tasty. tasty. Yep, okay, that's weird, but then again, that's just a thread or joke to them. She is definitely a very nice girl.、Mm -hmm. I'm so. Yep. Okay, so、um, Pasha is saying that、um, the, the people from the demonic clan are coward, but Pasha said that that same goes for humans, that humans do stealing. And other well things stuff. 
and apparently they well they are just kind of insulting each other right now and threatening if you want to kill me go the head witch and um, apparently the witch has other thing in mind which is to um, okay she will help him win the war against the enemy party but in return they'll be playing a game game of survival and if she win she will make him her slave oh my god I'm I'll, I'll be willing to take his place anytime all right you, you can make me your <coughs> dore mm. Okay, so apparently they kind of make a pay. I'm gonna skip the part where he's dilly dallying, unable to make his mind. So apparently time's up and... Well, Persia will agree with her terms to be a slave by winning the war. So, I mean, look at Persia. Look. As the Chinese saying goes, which I'm gonna alter a bit and in English translations. I look at her big nanny every day. I'm <clears throat> sorry, correction. I look at her big nanny every day. Whoa. She is gonna make me her slave. Whoa. We're gonna have happy meeting every day. We're gonna be playing rolling ground dragons every day. I'm gonna make her sprinkle splash water every day. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, oh well, back to the game. So, right, we'll be fighting the enemy. And, yep, definitely the enemy are stronger. And, Pasha will be saving the day. I mean, the witch will be saving the day. So, ta da! And, we will be trying out on Pasha. So do know that this is just a trial and demo version, all the stats um, given inside the game are not the actual stats or finalized stats you will be getting. So do not follow this demo video um, blindly. But if I would say uh, enchantment for Tola, I would suggest to be um, Clock will be better because she's a spammer. Oh my god, she's saying the speech that Listel is speaking. She's definitely um Listel counterpart in in reincarnation. So okay, Pasha is useless, so right, I'll just so right, we will be using a 3C skill, so okay, it's so AoE damage. Okay, if Pasha die, will cause all non-female heroes passive skills to be effective. Oh, so if I'm not wrong, it's true the whole game because apparently there is no exact turn or time return. And it's an AoE tree line damage. So let's say come from one, two, three, four, five, six. This is it's a 3 by 6 Whoa, whoa. Okay, but dealing 0 0.1 times damage only. However, if targets or enemy are under non-defensive terrain, we'll do an additional fixed damage of times 2. The spell caster intelligence unable to be immune. It will cause them a shadow curse effect. When enemy enter and they're under defensive terrain, they'll take and addition 1.5 times fixed damage based on the caster intelligence. Again, it cannot be immune. So, oh, a total up of 3 times 5 times. So, here we go. So, let's look at enemy. Um, 
Okay, they have a lethargic counter. Okay, as long as you actively deal damage, um, sorry guys, I earlier on I said when you actively attack, that's my my bad. Apparently, when you actively deal damage, it will cause the counter on enemies. So right, we'll wait for next turn for Agar game to act upon. Alright, I'm not able to test out her, her, her passive, tree safe to die because uh, upon death we will lose the game. So, right. Um, okay, Dream it. Okay, and, and Chan. So, okay, I'll be casting an AoE. No, it's not an AoE, it's a single target. Oh, it's a very far range. So, okay. Oh, so I take a look. Um, okay, uh, it's basically a sleep, but a stronger sleep. So when they enter, you will do AoE around allies, around him who are one square or tiles beside him. They will deal 25% of fixed damage of their HP. Oh, okay. So, guys, let me make a double confirm. Okay, um, based on their current HP 25%. Alright, we will be finishing off. Okay, I'm gonna be finishing off the archer. もう待ちきれないのかしら。So this is how it works. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So, look at it. Both of the enemy are sleeping right now. So the effect of happening every three turns. So mainly is for the same enemy to work the attack. So okay. Okay, it go. okay, then after damage, enemy will wake up. Oh, thank God. So, right, um, our AoE is back. So, we'll be spamming. Staying off the danger zone. Okay, black holes to So right, we'll make this guy sleep. And yep, Pasa will finish off this guy. He's gonna heal the okay, that's weird, but never mind. There's an angle in that don't heal, that's a very weird thing. Alright. Okay, that's it. 
So that's it for partial. Apparently, at the end of the second turn, the hypnosis will turn into sleep. So that's how she works. I think she is much um, easier to use and understand once once you start playing her. It's much, I guess, uh, easier to understand than Toba. Apparently. <laughs> Despite this, despite the long description of her skills, so okay, she managed to win the war. So will Pansia become his slave? I mean, I'm willing to become one. Oh wait, what? So he just won the won the war, and he can stop poverty and stuff. But okay, the witch is still at white. Okay, Pasha apparently committed, uh, as in he killed himself. And okay, Pasha is saying she totally underestimated um, humans. And well, she's very pissed off. She's angry that um, why they try to. Um, not honor their word and use her and they choose death to escape all forms of punishment well he's a coward even to the end when he died and okay she said she'll make him pay a heavy price out of it i mean i, I guess she's saying all this out of spite So after the war, after the war and um, bodies are lying around the battlefield and the air is filled with the death stench. And upon the rune, um, the living, uh, the living people are shouting out for their close one name, looking for. Well, the one who are in the battlefield in hope that they are still alive. And this is um, the little brother of Pasa, uh, I guess. Uh, he's trying to look for his brother. So, okay. Oh, they meet the witch. So, okay. She's trying to scare them that, um, well... By Pasia, are you meaning? Are you talking about the dead body lying there? And oh my God! Okay, that's kind of sad and bad. She's trying to scare the kids. Oh my God! And she's trying to tell them, um, Pasia is just a thief who dishonor his. Promise and why are you guys crying for him? Uh, well, the kids are not trusting her words because they trust Pasia, who is actually fighting for the kids and giving them food. Okay, so they apparently built a tombstone in honor of him. Wow, that's fast. Okay, she's got angry because um, despite all the negative things she tried to say against Pasia, but the living humans are saying things um, like wise or opposite of what she's saying. Yep. And say, you're the demon, we will not be afraid of you. Well, the heart of justice will defeat you, blah, blah, blah. And now they are saying that she's the one who killed the real Pasha and saying she's mad. So apparently she's very sad and well she's saying um, despite living for such a long time with humans she's still unable to get um, the feeling thoughts of, what, of a human or what they want. But she do not need this bond 
that human have with each other as death will be the end of all humans isn't that right Asya? Taking his name. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, okay, she'll be taking his name as the price for disobeying her and dishonoring his promise with her. So, okay, I guess despite saying she wants a slave or whatsoever, she don't really mean it, but more of a. I, I guess it's like. Well, playing a prank on human. Okay, that's it for Persia. We have come to the end. So, okay, talking about characters and enchantment, like for Persia or for Tova, I will say Tova has high mobility with a class. So, If you're going for skills and damage, I suggest you can go for magic and again if you want even longer mobility, you can go for breeze. Um, definitely not a good idea for... I won't suggest full moon but I guess breeze, magic or maybe if you want to go for defensive play, you can because she seems like a... Either you can go up as a full attack or you can do a semi tanker but then again I may be wrong but looking at a 3C skills which seems or look more like a support than a direct attacking skills she's kind of like creating synergy between herself and her ally then for Persia which, uh, as you can see, the spelling is P-A-T-Y-L-E, but um, when I look at the pronunciation, it goes nearer to Persia, so, or Persia, sorry. And okay, um, looking at the skills, which are all active skills, definitely um, I will go for Clock. That's my first choice. I would like to spam her skills, followed by... She has more variety, magic, club, and breeze. So that's it for enchantment. But well, if you guys have better options, leave it down in the comment sections below. And of course, not just about enchantment. If you have any things to comment upon the two characters, leave it down in the comment sections below. Um, deeply apology, uh, my deep apologize that uh, I did not do a very great video description for Tova and Persia because I have been very busy over the week. And if you look at the date, um, I only left with less than an hour left to do the video so not much time for me to redo or do more in-depth description so very deep apologies to every um, viewers out there and, it, and last but not least a very great thank yous for your support so remember to like and subscribe my video this is Kami signing off goodbye